Hello, welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and I thought I was in the mood to do uh, one of my palette singles roulette videos. I wasn't in the mood however to film the colors being chosen so I'm so sorry if that's part of the video that you enjoy. Um, I let it choose it and I think you can safely say that no one would choose this <laughs> singles combo because it just doesn't really make sense. Uh, so I've just been doing my makeup and staring at these trying to figure out what I wanted to do so I've got the uh, Colourpop Chick Happens which I think is this one here I've got an Enchanted Lustre colour that is unnamed um, which is this like shiny one down here Enchanted Lustre is an indie brand in Australia and sometimes when they send you stuff they don't label it so I've got Sydney Grace Co Camel which is this brown you can barely see and I'm kind of excited for this. I got some menagerie today, which is always a bit rare. But we have a uh, sleeping dragon, which is our green, myth or legend, which is our blue, and this brown here is Inglot's 283. I'm always wary pulling these out because I feel like you're gonna break them, and it actually took me a long time to find the singles, which is the part of the video I drive because all my singles live in these palettes and they all come from different random spots. So let me know if you really like seeing like the first part of like choosing it or if I can skip filming that and just go straight into it like now. I don't think it makes a huge difference because like if you're here to see like where I go with a crazy eye look, <laughs> crazy shadows or like a weird combination of shadows, it's what you're gonna get. So I'm just gonna lay down the paint, MAC paint pot. Oh my God, I can't believe. My aircon is on. I don't know why I'm so hot. I don't think I'm used to sitting in front of these lights. But I felt like doing a bit of a rehash to an old classic, which is the MAC Paint Pop. Also, it's like 8 o'clock at night, so I'm not going to be wearing this for very long. But I was really excited to film and get a bit more back into it. I hope you guys don't mind. And I thought you guys deserved like a bit of a cheerier video from me. <laughs> Though, like, thank you so much to everyone who commented on the last one. You guys are just amazing. I don't know what else to say. You guys really are. You just like absolutely amazing. So, just reorganized all my brushes today, which I'm super excited about. But I really want to focus in on using some of the reefer brushes, refer brushes. So from the collection, I've got like three. I've got um here. Yeah. So I'll see if I can incorporate them today. I thought I'll start off. I'm just gonna go in with camel and lay that down all on the base to set this primer. It's kind of a nothing shade that I don't really know why it's still in my collection. I think I need to start a palette of shadows I wouldn't mind getting rid of. So maybe I could like stock sell them. Actually that's a great idea. I'm gonna do that. Um, or just like let friends come when they come over have a look through and see what shadows they want to take. Because like single shadows are just painful to like sort of part with because you end up with like just round ones you don't really like. So I'm just gonna put camel straight in there because it's like a boring shade. And let's see if I can fill it up. I'd love to get rid of some more shades that would be love them like just really nice. I really want to go in with this green which is Sleeping Dragon. I'm gonna go in with the same brush because this one just seems like kind of fun. It's like really big. Oh, I say I'm gonna use reefer brushes and I don't. Let's use a reefer brush. Let's go in with a reefer number 12. And just see how this lays down. So tell me how you guys have been, what's been happening, what is new. I have missed talking to you guys at all. And I would, I think I would like to go back to like just posting regularly. Um, I had a super exciting weekend. Last weekend I met Annette from Annette's Meg Hummer Corner in real life. Which was super fun. And it was just amazing to like see her in real life. And I met the lovely Melissa Gold as well. And yeah, it was just really nice. We had a lot of fun just hanging out and doing a bit of exploring around Melbourne. Uh, but I was so tired <laughs> when I got back and I had to work. So that's why I haven't I had a chance to sort of like be motivated and film. Um, I'm only just catching back my seam now. And I hope you guys enjoy this one. This brush is actually don't. I really don't want to like these brushes. But I kind of do. You can't like deny it when something's good. 
So let's keep using this brush. I'm gonna go in with Myth or Legend, the blue from Menagerie. And yeah, I'm just gonna go. I just wanna put it over the top. I'm just gonna have some fun with today's look today. I've been really enjoying a lot of those halo eyes that I keep seeing on Instagram. They look amazing. I should have maybe, I don't know, tried to replicate one of them, but oh well. These are just blending really nicely together. I didn't, I don't know, I thought I was going to have more trouble. No, yeah. So easy. Alright. I'm going to keep using this brush because, well, I just washed all my brushes today. I'm not in the mood to wash more. Let's actually bring you in a little bit because, you know. I'm going to go into Inglot's 283. And I'm going to put this in the outer corner. It's like, I don't know, I thought it'd be fun, to be honest. I'm going to go into Colourpop's Chick Happens and just see what happens when I put it underneath my eye. I mean, it's okay, but I think let's, let's use the blue um, from Menagerie and just utilize Chick Happens to sort of deepen it up a bit underneath, which it is doing beautifully. Uh, but I would love to know, like, what is a YouTuber that you would love to meet in person? Uh, have you met any YouTubers in person? Not that like I seem like a as a YouTuber. Um, we've actually talked online for a really long time and if you look back on our channels, our uh, friendship goes back really far. But I'm just, I don't know, it's like a, it's a funny thing when someone sort of comes through the screen and you see them in real life. Uh, and I actually have, um, I would say I have pretty bad uh, social anxiety. So when I'm in those situations, sometimes I just like, can't stop talking like now and then I spend the whole time like did I say the right thing oh my god like why did I say that like what was wrong with me I don't know um so this ring that is just like one of those really awkward things to deal with because there's not much you can do about it I'm gonna go into that enchanted luster shade I honestly would get rid of all my enchanted luster shadows but I don't see a point I'm just gonna lay it down uh because I can't sell them and what am I going to do? I might as well just keep hold of them. I'd love to know if you've used Enchanted Luster and what your thoughts are. I mean, these are beautiful. I don't know. Maybe I do love it. I just think when there's so many cool indie brands out there that are selling stuff for like a pretty reasonable price, the packaging is just such a letdown when it comes to Enchanted Luster. I know the owner has just had a child and stuff, so hopefully she's gonna like pick up her game. I mean, she's got some fierce competition now. I think if she did like it, the formula is beautiful. It really could go far. But yeah, I think anxieties in general are just like a bit painful to deal with because there's just not much you can really do about it. Like you just end up sitting there stressing in your head. And after the fact, there's absolutely nothing you can do. Uh, or you find yourself like apologizing for things that like they didn't even notice or it just becomes awkward So I don't know So hopefully <laughs> Hopefully I left a good impression, but I do I, like I absolutely admire it. She's such an amazing creator and If you haven't yeah just, She's amazing. All right, so I feel like I'm gonna tear something up in the middle corner We didn't get anything in this selection to play with but I would love to pull in well, let's go and I like really want to go with some of my menagerie singles. I just haven't used them as much as I should have. Let's go in with Fluke, which is this beautiful shade here. So I'd love to know like what do you do for if you have social anxiety or if you've dealt with someone who has social anxiety, like if you get some hot tips on like just to distract your mind. I do have the Budify app, which one of you guys suggested one time, and that has actually been amazing sometimes just to turn it on. I think it costs like $8 or something. But it's just like a bunch of meditations that I can pull into at any time. And then I have the Calm app as well. Uh, that helps me go to sleep. I just feel like sometimes my mind doesn't stop racing. Wow. I really, really need to use Menagerie more. All right, shall I, is this the finished look? I don't know, it's been so long since I've done this. I think like it looks all right. I'm going to duck off, do mascara and some eyeliner and I shall return. Ah, 
I was so excited. It was all going smoothly. But my microphone is not working again. It is very annoying. So I've got the NYX Faux White Liner on my waterline, Lancome Hypnos Doll Eyes on my top lashes, and Australis Skinny Mini on my bottom. I'm sorry for the audio shift. I just wish, like, I don't know. I try so hard to have, like, a good setup, and it just, like, my Surface Pro just isn't picking up that there's a microphone attached to it. I've tried unplugging it, replugging it, leaving it half out. Sometimes that works, and it's just not working. <laughs> it's a very frustrating thing to me. Anyway, let's bring you in, and you can have a look at this look a bit closer up. It's very Christmassy now that I am seeing it again. It was super fun to create, and like a pretty easy breezy sort of look to pull through. I didn't do any liner because I'm going to wash this off soon, and that's just going to make my life harder. Anyway, I'd love to know what's up in your life. Have you got any releases that you're eyeing off? I kind of really want that sugar pill pill palette. I don't know why. Uh, but I'm going to wait till it hits like some Australian sites. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> wow. It looks so harsh. I feel like I haven't worn like a full blown look like this in a long time. Anyway, thank you so much for sticking out with me and hanging out this morning or this evening or whenever you're watching this from wherever you're watching this. Uh, anyway, I absolutely appreciate it and adore you and I don't know, I don't know much else to say, but you guys are amazing. I love that you guys stuck back and like just I appreciate every single one of the comments that I got on my last video. It was really great. Anyway, I'm going to head off to bed soon after I edit this.